Hi, my name is Dr. Mark Norman. I'm Chief Executive of Merlin Robotics. Um, today I'd like to introduce you to Snake, which is a two meter tall compliant robot snake. It's constructed from 28 artificial muscles and 19 sensors and uh, is run from a pneumatic uh, S-ply. We were approached by Phil Breeden from Nottingham Trent University um, with the idea of building a very unusual uh, artistic object. The main difference about this snake and maybe some other robotic snakes is that it's standing upright, um, which from a control point of view means that it's a much harder object to control because it's always fighting gravity, so it's always unstable and we have to use the Merlin control system uh, to continue to make it upright and, and move smoothly. The whole structure has a springiness like human muscles, which again uh, makes it move nice and smoothly. The artificial muscles are actually part of a project, uh, part of a design um, that we've been working on since 1998 when the company was first started. Um, they're called humaniform air muscles. They're basically a, a rubber balloon covered in a uh, Kevlar mesh and they operate like a bicep muscle. So as they shorten in length, they actually get wider. Inside the muscle are proportional air valves, again, which are designed from Merlin, which uh, allow air to be controlled into the muscle to control its shape and its length. The overall aim of the company is to make robots relevant to people in people environments. So the idea, instead of using large, heavy robot arms, um, all our technology is compliant, soft technology. This is really an evolution of the technology that Mer Merlin Systems have been working on for a number of years. And the artificial muscles themselves, we can control their speed of movement, their length, their position and their shape. Um, and by placing them onto structures such as Snake, we can demonstrate complex control of large numbers of actuators and sensors. It's not necessarily only animals we're doing, but uh, th th they're kind of very interesting because you can get nice fluid movements from artificial muscles that perhaps you don't get with, with other types of actuator. Um, so we're very keen to continue to develop um, unusual adaptive structures using uh, compliant air muscle technology.